Okay guys, we just arrived at the hotel. I am super tired. Um, my uncle was so kind that he bought us banh mi. Uh, anyways, this is one of the most famous banh mi places in Saigon. My first meal and my first banh mi here. We gotta test this out. Look at this gorgeous banh mi. And then you have the vegetables on the side, so I'm just going to assemble it. No, I give it a sight. Oh my god! Like, I'm about to fucking cry. Just if you score a bottle, let's stay in one for a minute. I'm not gonna swear, but y'all do not get how good this is. This is literally pure happiness. And it's huge. Four different kinds of onigiri and we're gonna taste just every single one of them yeah. okay we're gonna start with the crab stick one okay do you know how to open yeah, this i know now okay okay i even feel now <gasps> oh. mm. this is the next one this is the salmon with mayo ah next we have the um, bacon and cheese Onigiri. It's cold. Cold. Okay. I don't know. What was it? All of this was approximately like 100,000 dong, which equals to like $4. Like the Japan lives. Oh, you need to remove it completely. Oh, you pull the number oh, two. <gasps> oh. Ah! Oh my god, I did it. We just didn't read it properly. It's very loud in there. I can't, I don't even know if you guys can hear me. We just ordered some pho and of course some Vietnamese iced coffee. There's some different kind of like slices of beef. You get some greens, but I prefer my pho just really simple, so I don't really put in the greens. First time I'm eating pho in Vietnam. Let me try the broth. Mm. I don't know how to rate it, but I think it's good. We're here at a cafe. Isn't this like the tiniest table ever? We're at Hao de Lao, and it's my first time eating Hao de Lao ever. They gave us aprons so I don't spill anything on my white t shirt. This is a Thai soup, and this one is the fragrant mala something. I'm going to taste test the fried mantel because I've always wanted to try it. I'm going to try it plain first and then dip it in the condensed mm. milk later. Okay, it's not this good. Taste this. Mm. Mm. Uh, it's so good. This is some of what we ordered. Some is in here. First by Wow. Look at this sausage. That's crazy. Look at him whipping that. Oh. <laughs> Everything was like a fire. Big sleigh. That was a big sleigh. Yeah. Wow. You, you got the you got the a front view. How was it? Super chewy. 
very good. And the dancing, 10 out of 10. No, actually, the dancing makes this even better. I give it like an 11 out of 10. We have a mystery fruit. It's green on the outside, but it looks like an orange. And they said it was the orange cousin. Not as orangey and not as sweet as an orange. Okay, we're at this pizza place called 4P in Saigon and it's said to be one of the best pizza in Asia and we're gonna test that out! <laughs> The infamous 4P pizza. I'm not really a huge fan of like blue, blue cheese, but it was alright. It was good. Probably better without the blue cheese though. Mm. We're trying out the space called Pike's Pan. We ordered what did we order? Tteokbokki, jajangmyeon, and Korean fried chicken. We want more. Um, oh my god, it is actually and we ordered some jajangmyeon the side dishes and we still haven't gotten our chicken order yet since it's like cooking right in front of you they brought over a like a protected chill tofuki mukbang I'm in my Nico Carter avocado era right now for real though brought out even more food. We have some fried chicken. This huge amount of fried stuff. Wow, it is spoiling. Jajamyeon taste test. Better than the one we ate yesterday, actually. They gave us gloves to eat the chicken. Whoa. So good, oh my god. The chicken is so juicy. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had better chicken than this. It's juicy, crunchy, and the seasoning delicious. Would I eat here again? Yeah, 100%. I can't get over this chicken. It's so good. <laughs> My battery is about to run out, but I need to test the tteokbokki sauce. Hmm, it was so good. Everything was very good. If you guys watch my London vlog, I ate Korean corn dog in London. I've been craving it ever since then. So when we found this place in Saigon, I had to go. A hot dog with cheese and potato on the outside. Super excited. Feeling like super locals, we managed to order like a Uber kind of thing. The traffic is crazy. Let me show you guys. So we found a very cute cafe that sells mochi donuts. I have never tasted mochi donuts before, but I've always wanted to. Since mochi is very chewy, I expect it to be chewy, but we'll see. 
Okay. This is the second coffee of the day. We've been away since uh, 3 a.m. in the morning. And it's currently 5. Just trying to survive the day without taking a nap, basically. I just ordered a classic donut. Oh, I forgot to take a picture. Mmm. so good oh my god i don't know how they do it it had a really nice like consistency it was chewy but at the same time not so this is a dish they serve it on a hot plate here we have some beef sausage a pate and you kind of tear up the bread and dip it in and eat it all together we also ordered some fries to go with it honestly vietnamese french fries they hit different it's very good it can kind of like taste the potato it doesn't taste like french fries i do agree it tastes actually like potatoes french test yo listen to it have it with some pate, some beef. Gotta get that sauce. Mm. The beef with the pate. Perfect. Mm. It's so good actually. And then it's so simple. Mm. 